Hello and welcome to Behind the Science, where we ask challenging questions directly to the scientists who are trying to solve today's toughest problems. I'm your host, Jennifer Fournier. When it comes to HPLC purification, the choice of a column is make it or break it. You're more at risk than an analytical scale because you're putting your valuable sample through this purification. And if it doesn't work or something goes wrong, it's like throwing money away. The result can be devastating. You really need something you can trust. So in this episode of Behind the Science, let's look at ways to not sweat HPLC purification. Hey Jen, how's it going with your prep chromatography? Hi Steve, I've come to be honest with you, I'm really sweating this prep chromatography. I have a very valuable compound and I'm really worried about losing it once I inject it onto my system. This could be a real headache. Hey, let me show you how big this headache really is. Conventional prep column packing can form voids. Optimum bed density, or OBD column packing, was designed to eliminate voids, improving the mechanical stability of the chromatographic bed, particularly at the inlet of the column, can eliminate column failure. In this diagram, you're looking at an expanded view of the water's patented optimum bed density, or OBD, preparative column. Yeah, and we can lose samples, we can have uh, higher costs, lower throughput. Steve, I don't want to sweat preparative chromatography anymore. How can this be preventable? Well, actually, this is preventable. We need good mechanical stability. Let me show you. Typically, users are looking for more resolution. As a result, prep columns are being packed with smaller particles. Smaller particles have higher back pressures and more compressive forces during a preparative run. These forces, such as the pressure shock of viscous samples, can disrupt the chromatographic bed of the column. Water's column hardware technology that I described to you is critical in extending the column life, but the results are in the data. Let me show you. Here is a first injection of an OBD column. And here is what it looks like after 7,000 injections. Not much difference. Very impressive, Steve. How come other columns don't do that as well? Well, here at Waters, quality is number one. We have a machine shop that make all these different components. We have a machine shop? I never knew that. Hey, let me tell you, I got a lot of surprises for you. Let me, let me just go off and show you here. You take a field trip? Yeah, let's take a field trip. Wow, that machine shop was so cool. And now I know that we have that here in house. No wonder we have such great quality. We make and inspect the critical parts ourselves. Get more runs out of your prep comp and have a source you can trust so you no longer need to sweat HBLC prep purification. Check out the links below to learn more about Waters OBD technology and all the different chemistries that are offered. And join us next time for another episode of Behind the Science.